Welcome back to the channel. Like always, I am your favorite librarian boy, Fizzle. In today's video, we move to our new place. We are still trying to set up, but I just thought that, you know, we should document the process. Ruby's here. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, guys. Yeah. All right. So we both moved in together because obviously, you know, she's my girlfriend. And... Yeah, I know there have been some speculations online. <laughs> yeah, I, you were right. Some people were right. Anyways, I was going to do this vlog alone, but she's like, this is not my ordinary vlog. This is a couple vibe thingy. No, I didn't. He, he suggested it, that we should do this this morning. So let you guys know our new spot. And he didn't want to do it alone. He wanted me inside. Yeah. But... I, didn't, I didn't suggest that. You did. So stop telling him I did. Yes, I did, guys. <laughs> you see? <laughs> I did, guys. Anyway, this is the kitchen area. Uh, later on today, I'm going to show you how in the living space is. Right now, we don't have no furnitures. Uh, we just hanged up some painting. Ruby's painting. You know, she loves art. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you the type of art we have and the cost of the art that we put up in there. <laughs> because, really? Yeah, why not? Why not? It's good for them to know. And the cost of the art, you understand? So just in case you're trying to get art, most of the art that we got in here though is from Aqua. And then there is one from a local painter in Liberia, which is my favorite art. And it's going right above where I'm going to place my decks to work. It's working space. My working space. So yeah, I'll show you. And, and there's but, one that I did myself, but he covered it with pictures. Yeah, uh -huh. because she's a very good artist. Uh-huh. A very good artist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, so moving in Liberia has been hectic. Like every time we mm -hmm. move, there's always a problem with agents because, you know, there are people that help people find apartments and places to move to, but I feel like they do it for money. They don't do it, you know, in order to help their client. The first places to show you is the worst places. And then they wait for you to pay another money again. And then they finally show you. It's a money-making thing here. They don't help you out. Uh, Ruby was the one that was taxed to find our new place. Uh, do you want to hear my experience <laughs> with them? Yeah. I had a friend with me and she she recommended this guy to us yeah yeah so he told me to tag her along with, with us for us to go and find the places because he didn't want me to be alone i'm so caring Ugh. <laughs> so we went the first stop was uh congo town behind your house behind you know, the ex the ex vice, vice president, president house. house yeah you know how that place it, like it, it's it's ghetto. <laughs> it's ghetto. It's ghetto. Ghetto. I just told. I didn't even go there. I just told him it's okay. Don't carry me. No, that, that was the first place. I didn't even go there. What was the second place? The second place was near Nascop. Nascop. That's uh twenty four twenty four street single sided. Yeah, bro. <laughs> So, so what they initially do is they charge you a fee to show you three different places. Yeah. Now, if you don't like those three different places, you will have to pay another money to see another three different places. So they do it in a way where they show you the worst places mm -hmm. so that you get to pay them to see other places. Do you understand? It's really messed up. <laughs> I don't know. That other strategy is messed up. Yeah, you I don't. Guys, please change it. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced that. If you have experienced that, comment down in the comment section and tell us, you know, about your experience. When I came back home, I was so pissed. So this dude knew he had a dude that could find places, and he suffered me in the sun. Fizzle. That's not caring. Fizzle for the rescue. <laughs> That's not caring. So uh -huh. I came home, he, he's like, I got one of my guys. Let's, let's go, let's go. Right yeah, there, there, there are a few, there are a few uh, like real estate agents in Liberia that really knows the job. The guy that helped us out, like he's been finding places for me and my family for a very long time. So I just thought of him and I gave him a call and 
quick we found a place the very first place he showed us is this, this place. place and we liked it so you know oh, yeah but so you're supposed to use him first <laughs> and that suffered me yeah she's gonna, yeah she's gonna kill me guys yeah. anyways i just felt like mm. or i just feel like mm. The majority of real estate agents in Liberia are just doing it for money-making scheme. Yep. Yeah, it's a money-making thing. Even when they post on social media like Facebook and Instagram, when you call them, yo, I saw a property, you were advertising, I would like to see it. No, you have to pay so-so and so money first before we can tell you where it is or we can show you. I'm like, what? Anyway, like I said, if you have experienced such in Liberia, comment down in the comment section, tell us about your experience. So I'm about to show you guys a little bit of, you know, their, their house. I can't show you the bathroom because it's a mess right now and I cannot show you the room. It's not a mess, guys. It's also a mess. You don't want to show it. I don't feel comfortable showing exactly. people where I lay my head. <laughs> After I fix it up, obviously I'll show you guys, but for now... Don't worry guys, I'll do a vlog in the bathroom. It is a mess though because... Skin care. <laughs> it is a mess though because there are clothes everywhere. We don't even Not the clothes. room though. Okay guys, here is it. We got uh, someone fixing our bed, our, our closet. And the couches. And the couches and whatever that needs to be fixed around here. So we don't have anything right now. Our mattress is on the ground. Our clothes is, is decently on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't make it look nice. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have no chairs in this house. Don't make it look nice. We don't have no chairs in this house. We don't See, have no chairs. We're standing. So if you decide to visit, guys. You're going to sit on the floor. You're going to sit on the floor. <laughs> you're going to sit on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you, no you're going to have no floor. <laughs> The only thing I think we have here are paintings and fridge. We have a lot of fridge here. I think two fridge, eh? Yeah. Is it fridge or fridges? <laughs> English is a very hard language. Um, anyway, yeah. we have two fridge here. All right, guys. So the next thing I like to talk about is moving, the moving aspect, like uh, finding a truck or something to move your things you know in other countries you have you all you have you know agencies that you have to call and then they'll come or you can rent their trailer and then you can pack your things and drive it and return the trailer but in liberia we have old very old and rusty pickups pickup trucks for moving so you know if you are somebody who care about your things being mishandled like me or yeah, for her, she was like, no, put it on the seat, put it on the seat of the car. <laughs> Hold that in your hands. Hold that in your hands. And me, I was just looking and laughing. I was like, bruh, <laughs> these guys are going in front. You don't even know what they would do with, <laughs> with your stuff. But you know what? It is, they broke free of my bowls, my eating bowls. Oh, really? Yeah, they did. But, <laughs> but it's okay. Shout out to my boys. <laughs> Everything else came in one piece. Everything yeah. else came in one piece? Yeah. Just two bowls? Just two bowls. Ah. Hey, you can sacrifice the two bowls. So, so every time you move two bowls. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's another, that was another problem, you know? Moving, we get, we get the pickup truck to move. And then I think they charge us $35 to move everything. Cause for me and her, we don't really have a lot of things. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, so we're not like those people who buy, buy, buy. And when you're moving, you need to go like one, two, three, four, five rounds. We five just, trips. Yeah, we just had one everything trip. Everything set. Everything mm -hmm. fixed in one trip. Uh, so yeah, hence we have to buy couches. So we didn't have couches, yeah. which, was, which was a plus for us. You know? So we came from a studio. Mm -hmm. We went to a furnished apartment. From a furnished apartment, we're here. So our studio apartment didn't have a chair or you know this or that. It was just a bed and one single chair, but we left it at the studio. Yeah. Yep. That was it. And then we moved into a furnished apartment. A furnished apartment, which is uh, a one-bedroom furnished apartment. And with that, we met the furnitures there. So, yeah. you know, when we're moving, we had to leave the furnitures there. So now that we are here, it's yeah, it's not for us. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we are here, we have to buy our own furnitures. So our moving process was not really hard because we had less things to park. To park, yeah. So yeah, man. But I'll tell you though, like, um, if anybody in Liberia to start like a 
moving, you know, trailer company we're in when you want to move. Call the buy these trailer trucks, you know, with the big back. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I think they the will one make, I brought the fridge yesterday. Right? Yeah, I think they will make money. A lot of money. I think they'll make a lot of money because every year people are moving in Nigeria. I don't know for what reason, but hey, man. Every year, every day, babe. Every day. Every day, babe. Okay. So you see, compared to those pickup trucks that people use to move their things, the guys, they don't care, man. They will just mishandle whatsoever you have, break some stuff, and hey, man, their only job is to get whatsoever you have from point A to point B. That's all they care about. So whatever happens is on you. <laughs> it's on and you. our pickup trucks can haul cement, they haul sand. Yeah, the same trucks we haul. And they don't clean it. <laughs> yeah. So when you put your things in it. <laughs> um, this this too is Liberia, man. Yeah. This too is Liberia. <laughs> It's crazy. It's really crazy. All right, guys. So this is the living room space behind us here. I guess I'll better show it with a B-roll. <laughs> and this is Ruby. She's gonna be showing you the paintings around the house because that's the only thing we can show right now. <laughs> only paintings. So, show, them. guys. The, this one right here is my favorite painting. Yeah, I think we paid for the five dollars for this from a local. Oh, they see my bro. This, this was a gift. Okay, that was a what? This is Frida. <laughs> uh, we paid, I think, thirty-five dollars for Frida. Thirty-five dollars. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought it was more. No. What oh, was the Buddha? Yeah. The one in the room. All right. What about that one? It is a gift. That was a gift. Yeah. Guys, look at this. <laughs> I had to rearrange all the photos on this because it was a mess. That's her trying to draw. I don't know why you hit the boobs. <laughs> but yeah. So that's her little sister. That's her little sister. That's me. That's her older brother. That's her and her older brother. And this is her youngest brother. Small family. <laughs> that's not a small family. How many? Five? Is it? One, two, three. Four, We're five. five. <laughs> Anyways, yeah man, so this is the living room and the dining room. The dining room is, you know, the one you see the fridge at. I'm gonna show a B-roll of the living room. And we are presently standing right in the living space. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, let's get away. All right guys, so um, I couldn't show you guys the room, but I will show you a little bit of the room right over here and you know a little bit of all the other spaces that we didn't touch right over here so you can see how they look like and how the space is like. Now, if you enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and becoming a part of the family because we're trying to grow a great community over here. I know it's so distracting trying to look at me and listen to me with her in the background doing all types of things. <laughs> you understand? I'm trying to do a video on, um, you know, the cost of living in Liberia. If you're interested or you think I should do that video, comment down in the comment section. Tell me what you would like for me to be talking about in that specific video. Maybe you want for me to, you know, talk about the prices of accommodation or you want for me to talk about the prices of, you know, food, uh, food stuff and, or you want for me to talk about, you know, um, the prices of transportation, transporting yourself, or living in Liberia as a whole. You know, if you want for me to talk about anything, comment down in the comment section. And like always, I am your favorite Liberian boy, boy, Fizzle. So... Peace. Peace.